So we're here at Backyards. The forecast in Hawaii was for northerly winds and a really nice ground soil. So myself and Robbie Swift decided to uh, come over here and try and uh, sail here at Backyards. It's a really top to bottom heavy wave, much uh, more so than Hukipa. It's a real high performance wave. Sort of reminds me of uh, Cape Verde on steroids. This is my first time ever sailing in Backyards. Um, Jason invited me over and uh, it's a fantastic place. The wave is absolutely amazing. When we first got here, his explanation of the place was in his usual fashion. Just, yeah, basically head out there, hit the lip there and try not to fall in because it's about five centimetres deep and, and you might just get completely annihilated. Yeah, to me, uh, Backyards has really two main sections. There's like the, the top section that's kind of a little bit fat and then it rolls in and it hits this inside shallow reef, it's called Boneyards, and Boneyards is, is pretty much like pipeline. It's just inside out thick, like barrel wall, uh, all the way down to like the Sunset Channel. And uh, if you fall off down there, you know, you can get in a lot of trouble. Um, but that's where you get the best aerials and the best turns. I never realized how close it was to Sunset. When, you, when you're riding the waves, you can come down the line, you do a turn, maybe do an aerial. You can see all the surfers in the lineup at Sunset looking back at you, and you can also swim through them when you wipe out as well, so it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty neat place to sail. And then sometimes when you get caught, you know, on the inside and you've got to straighten out and come in, you know, you could be coming over like five centimetres of, of shallow reef and, uh, or even dry reef on low tide and just being absolutely, absolutely works, hence the name Boneyards. And generally when you do lose your gear at, at Boneyards, you've got a long swim down to sunset and nine times out of ten you're going to end up on the beach at sunset and having to walk back. Yeah, myself and Robbie that day, we must have had at least four or five walks from Sunset Beach all the way back up to Backyards, which is about, a, you know, it's at least half a mile walk. The wave here is amazing. It, the only thing that I've sailed before that reminds me of this is Cabo Verde, but it's even heavier than Cabo Verde, but it's so, so smooth. It almost lulls you into a full sense of security. Like I, I did a couple of aerials in the beginning and they were perfect and so much fun just because the wave was so smooth and you could see exactly what was going on. But then after I had a couple of successful ones, um, sometimes the end section just wraps around and annihilates you and, uh, and I had a couple of pretty heavy beatings. So I started to get my tail between my legs a little bit and, and be a little bit more afraid. But the, the risk reward factor is really there, you know, you can have some amazing waves, but you can also have some amazing crashes. Yeah, the one thing about Boneyards is that it's just so hollow. Sometimes it's actually, it's hard to windsurf. You know, you're either in the pit doing an aerial, or if you are turning off the, the face of the wave and you cut back, when it bowls and starts to throw, you, you literally just free fall down into the bottom of the pit. Uh, and if you're not, if you haven't got uh, the right setup, you can easily get drilled. It's, it's really difficult.
end of the day, it was really funny. I was, I was actually caught on the inside trying to get back out. And out of the corner of my eye, I see Robbie just bottom turn under this huge bowl at uh, Boneyards. And he was just so late. He went up under the lip and got inverted through it and <laughs> just bailed his gear and did like a Superman backwards thing into the barrel. And uh, I just thought to myself, you know, that was a bit of payback from uh, him not giving me that 100 litre board in Chile. So after that wipeout, I was feeling really flustered and not really going for it. I kept straightening out on the waves and, and after a little bit, I just decided I'd, I'd had enough. I came back to the beach um, and I'm walking back up the beach and I bump into Heidi. She's like, what's going on? Jason's sailing so well and you're not doing anything. It's your job, come on, get back out there. So I walk back up the beach, launched again, I'm sailing out and Jason's like, yeah, you pussy, come on, just hit it, hit it. He needed a bit of uh, coercing, so I, I started yelling at him to, to hit the lip and stop being a pussy. And uh, so he did, he went out there and, and uh, he hit the lip and, and kind of hurt himself on the last wave of the day. I, I kind of felt bad, but kind of glad it wasn't me. So I'm like, okay, okay, I'm gonna hit it. Just gonna do one really nice aerial. <laughs> And that was a pretty big mistake because, uh, again, just the same kind of thing, big bowl. I don't really know what went wrong. It kind of caught my boom in the lip a little bit as I got thrown into the air. And then I just absolutely smashed myself in the flats at the bottom of the wave where the surface tension stretches the water and makes it as hard as possible. And I really hurt my ribs. I thought I might have broken a rib, but today I'm, I'm okay, so I guess I didn't. But the sail got completely destroyed, ripped in half, and it was a pretty painful end of the day at Backyards, but a success anyway. Yeah, in the end, it was, it was a great trip. It was actually one of the better sessions that I've had out here. And it was great to come over with Robbie and it, it puts a big smile on my face every time I think about that wipeout he had, you know. And also Maui's been terrible with uh, conditions. It's been onshore and really terrible conditions. So to come here and get one or two days of perfect conditions, I'm super stoked and looking forward to coming back and trying to hit it up again. <laughs>